This is section 1.1 continued, we're on part C, simplifying expressions. The coefficient of a variable term is the constant multiplier. If you watched the previous video, you would have noticed we mentioned the word coefficient earlier. If I have a term such as 2x, the coefficient is 2, it is the constant that's being multiplied by the variable. If I have another term, like for example, 5x squared, once again the coefficient on this one is 5, it's the number being multiplied by the variable. If I have a term like uh, x, its coefficient is going to be 1 because there's going to be something known as the invisible 1 in front of the x. 1x is the same thing as just x, so again the coefficient of plain variable is going to be 1. Okay. Now like terms are either constant terms or terms that have the same variable. So for example, 2x is like 5x or 2x squared y is like negative 4 thirds x squared y, as long as they have the same exact variable component, the numbers can be different. If terms are not like terms, we say that they are unlike. Examples of unlike terms might be 2x is unlike um, 3y, so it's a different variable, or 2x squared would be unlike um, x because x squared is not the same exact variable component as x. If a variable has an exponent that's part of the variable term, then you'd need to be identical in order to be like. The important thing about like terms is that you can only combine two terms if they are like. They have the same variable component. So 3x and 5x are like, so they can be added together to get 8x. 3x's plus 5 more x's adds to 8x. In part b, 4x minus x, if you're going to take one of the x's away, you're going to be left with just 3x. So that invisible 1 is the coefficient right there. 4 minus 1 is 3, so 3x left. In part c, I want to add up like terms. I'm going to have two sets since the k squareds are like and the k's are like. So first the k squared, I'll have 8k squared plus 6k squared gives us 14k squared. And then 2k minus 3k will give us negative 1k, but I don't need to write 1. 1 can be the invisible coefficient, so I can just say minus k. It's assumed to be a 1 in front of any variable with no visible coefficient. Okay, and part d. I have a few x terms, I have a few y terms, and then this 5 is going to be all alone since I don't have any constant terms to add to it. So first the x term. 3x plus 2x will be 5x. Negative 4y minus 6y, they're going to add up to negative 10y. And last, I have the plus 5. Okay. So if I have more than one letter, it's common to write the letter that's lowest alphabetically first. If you have the same letter with more than one power, it's common to write the highest power first. So highest power first. And then for more than one letter, we put them in alphabetical order with the constant last. So those are just standard hints, standard tips for the order in which expressions should be written. Let's look at example 15. All right, I've got four more expressions here to end this section. I want to simplify each of them. So first things first, we're going to take care of any distributes. So I'm going to distribute. Don't forget that that's not just a 3 that I need to distribute. It's a negative 3 that minus acts as a negative and comes with the 3. So I'm going to start with 6 minus 3 times 4 is 12. X and a negative 3 and a negative 9 are going to make that a positive 27. Then I have like terms in the constants, so I'm going to start with my 12x to get my variable first, and then 
6 plus 27 is going to give me plus 33. Okay. Distributes first. We're going to be distributing just a negative. You can imagine it as a negative 1 if you'd like, or a negative times a positive is a negative, and vice versa, negative times a negative is a positive. So it's negative 7 keeps that there. Minus times positive gives me minus 8t, and a negative times a negative gives me plus 1. Grab your likes again, that negative 8t is going to move to the front, and a negative 7 plus a 1 is going to be a minus 6. Parts C and D. Part C, 2 distributes to work on. I'm going to take 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times 3 is 6. And then for the second to distribute, it's going to be a negative 4 times 5 and a negative 4 times negative 2, which will give me negative 20x and plus 8. I'm going to group the x's and group the numbers. We always do our letters first. So 2x minus 20x is going to be negative 18x, and 6 plus 8 is 14. Once again, two distributes. We're going to first distribute 5 to 4x into negative 2y. So 5 times 4x is 20x minus 10y. And then distribute just the negative. That's just going to be changing the signs of everything. So a negative and a positive makes that minus 8x. A negative and a negative makes that positive 3y. And a negative and a positive makes that minus 1. Combine your x's. Combine your y's, and this one, again, has nothing to combine with. So x is first. 20 minus 8 is going to be 12x. Negative 10 plus 3 is going to be negative 7y. And then minus 1 is still the constant. It was all alone. Okay, and this mark means that we have ended the section.